The serene hills and valleys of southern Lebanon, once a battleground, have been entrusted to the watchful eyes of the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, or UNIFIL, for decades. Tasked with maintaining peace along the volatile border between Lebanon and Israel, UNIFIL peacekeepers stand as guardians of stability, their presence a testament to international commitment to preventing a resurgence of conflict. However, recent events have cast a long shadow over this vital mission. A series of alarming incidents including direct attacks on UN positions and personnel, have raised grave concerns about the safety of these peacekeepers and the respect accorded to them by all parties in the region. The world watches with bated breath as the situation unfolds, the fragile peace hanging precariously in the balance. The escalating tensions underscore the importance of UNIFIL's mission, while simultaneously highlighting the extraordinary risks and challenges faced by the men and women who serve under the UN flag. Their unwavering dedication to peace, even in the face of danger, serves as a beacon of hope in a region yearning for stability. Since its establishment in 1978, UNIFIL has been a cornerstone of international efforts to prevent conflict between Lebanon and Israel. The force's mandate is to maintain a ceasefire along the Blue Line, support the Lebanese armed forces, and ensure the safety of the civilian population. UNIFIL's mission extends beyond traditional peacekeeping. It provides humanitarian assistance and promotes social development. The peacekeepers represent a united front for peace. Recent months have witnessed a deeply concerning escalation in tensions with UNIFIL peacekeepers finding themselves increasingly caught in the crossfire. A series of alarming incidents ranging from verbal harassment and stone throwing to deliberate attacks on UN positions have sent shockwaves through the international community. These incidents, a blatant disregard for the neutrality and sanctity of peacekeeping forces, threaten to unravel the fragile peace in the region and undermine the tireless efforts of UNIFIL. The attacks, often attributed to factions operating outside the control of recognized state actors, highlight the volatile security environment in which UNIFIL operates. The deliberate targeting of peacekeepers, individuals who have dedicated their lives to protecting others, is not only a violation of international law, but also a grave moral transgression. The international community has a moral obligation to condemn these acts and ensure the safety and security of those who serve under the UN banner. The sanctity of peacekeeping missions and the safety of those who serve under the UN flag are not mere aspirations, but fundamental tenets enshrined in international law. The Geneva Conventions, cornerstones of international humanitarian law, explicitly protect peacekeepers from deliberate attacks, recognizing their status as non-combatants. Any act of violence against UN personnel constitutes a grave breach of these conventions, demanding swift and resolute action from the international community. The Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court further reinforces the protected status of peacekeepers, criminalizing the deliberate targeting of UN personnel. These legal frameworks, born out of a collective global conscience, underscore the gravity of attacks on peacekeepers, recognizing such acts as assaults not only on individuals, but also on the very foundations of international peace and security. The international community must send an unequivocal message that attacks on peacekeepers will not be tolerated. This requires a multi-pronged approach encompassing robust legal mechanisms, proactive preventative measures, and unwavering accountability for perpetrators. The protection of peacekeepers is not negotiable. It is a fundamental obligation that must be upheld by all states. Section 5. A Chorus of Condemnation. The Global Response to Attacks on UNIFIL. 
The international community has responded to the recent attacks on Unifil with a resounding chorus of condemnation, voicing outrage and demanding accountability for those responsible. The UN Security Council, entrusted with the maintenance of international peace and security, has unequivocally denounced these acts, reaffirming its unwavering support for Unifil and calling for a thorough investigation into the incidents. Numerous countries, including key stakeholders in the region, have echoed these sentiments, expressing their deep concern over the safety of UN peacekeepers and urging all parties to respect the neutrality and integrity of Unifil's mission. This global outcry reflects a shared understanding of the vital role Unifil plays in maintaining peace and stability in a volatile region, as well as the shared responsibility to protect those who risk their lives in the service of peace. The international community, however, must go beyond mere condemnation. Concrete actions are needed to ensure the safety of UN peacekeepers and prevent future attacks. This includes strengthening UNIFIL's mandate, providing the force with the necessary resources and capabilities, and fostering greater cooperation among all stakeholders in the region. Israel's defense and the skepticism it faces Israel cites security concerns to justify its actions, aiming to prevent hostilities. The government claims its actions target threats from non-state actors, not UN peacekeepers. These explanations face skepticism from the international community. Critics question the validity of Israel's claims, citing disproportionate force and lack of evidence. Israel must provide a transparent account to address international concerns. An independent investigation is needed to clarify the incidents and ensure accountability. Section 7. White Phosphorus. A controversial weapon in the spotlight. The alleged use of white phosphorus by Israeli forces near UN positions adds complexity to the tense situation. White phosphorus is controversial due to its potential for severe burns and respiratory problems. Its use in populated areas is condemned by human rights groups and international organizations. Israel claims its use was legal, but the incident has sparked outrage and calls for investigation. The controversy highlights the need for greater scrutiny and accountability regarding incendiary weapons. Section 8. The Road Ahead. Charting the future of Unifil in a volatile region. The recent attacks on Unifil have brought the future of the peacekeeping mission in southern Lebanon into sharp focus. The safety and security of UN peacekeepers, a paramount concern, is intrinsically linked to the ability of the force to effectively carry out its mandate. The international community must rally behind UNIFIL, providing the mission with the necessary resources, political support and operational flexibility to navigate the challenging environment. This includes strengthening UNIFIL's mandate, enhancing its intelligence gathering capabilities and fostering closer cooperation between the force and the Lebanese armed forces. Equally important is the need to address the root causes of instability in the region. This requires a multifaceted approach, encompassing dialogue, diplomacy, and a commitment to finding a just and lasting solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, a conflict that continues to cast a long shadow over the region. Section 9. The Imperative of Peace a call for dialogue and stability in Lebanon. The recent events